Good afternoon once again. I had to I had to share my I had to turn on my live cab because my because my phone power the phone was actually was getting overheated so I had to let it let it cool down a bit. I'm over here I'm over here at Mason Park over here here in Chatsworth, California for the Unity picnic that is, that is taking place right now. And as you can see, I had to get I had to get my extra battery power. Has, got to come always got to come prepared and always got and always got to come ready but i'm in i'm in the shade of, but i'm in i'm in a shaded area with no problem or nothing anything because i want to try because i do want to try i want to try to reach right try to reach you know get some reach to some of these tents you know some of the tents that's set up right now and everything we got everyone we got everyone from from salvo art from salvo art that is here and we also we also i'm also here in front of this booth right over here this is celebrate this is the celebrate life recovery and they always and they always meet every they always meet every friday at uh, at the day at the day spring church over and over in mission over in mission hills and the day spring church actually used to be the old the old ymca building from long from long long ago and this is also the church where pastor where um God rest his soul, Pastor Julio Mencia was that was that for, was that for, for for quite for quite some time. This brother that's right behind me that puts that puts together that this brother that's also part of it. This is brother Al. This is brother Albert, brother uh, brother Albert Acala, the big the big A. Yeah, that's him. And his wife is always usually here with them. Huh? Oh, oh, I buy I buy pet. Oh, okay, I buy pet. It's the heat. It's the heat. Please pardon. I, I believe it. Please part. Please pardon me, brother Albert. Can you let all? Can you let all my watchers know that's watching right now? What's what is celebrate life and how they can and how you know if they if they going through something how they can get a hold of you. Right on, praise the Lord. Celebrate life is a ministry of reconciliation. It's about the Christ-centered twelve steps. It's, it's a it's a it's a meeting. We get together every Friday, six thirty to seven for fellowship. At seven eight p.m. we start with fellowship and we do readings like AA and NA. And then we uh, do a teaching or testimonies. And then we break up in a small group, so issue specific, so people can talk about their hurts, their habits, and their hangups. We uh, are located at 10925 Columbus Street, Mission Hills, California, 91345. We have a Facebook page, Celebrate Life in Jesus 247. You can watch what we do every other Friday. Uh, we do live feed of the teachings. We have small groups that meet to work through step studies. They go, they got workbooks where they do all 12 steps. Uh, we do all reads, obviously, like this, and we want to help anybody who has an issue that they haven't been able to defeat on their own. We believe in deliverance. We also believe in the concept of recovery being a lifetime a commitment to working through the problems, the hurts, habits, and hangups. But we also believe that God has healed us from those. We trust in Him and walk through it. There's a lot of people here, they're all believers that have gone through the program, they're going through it, they're giving back to others. So what we do, like I said, is we help people, we're there, it's confidential. Um, if you don't want your name or your face put out there, we don't do it. If people break that confidentiality, unfortunately it happened, we ask them not, it only happened once in 14 years. We ask them not to come back, we want to be a safe place to share and get healing. Absolutely, and that's, and that's exactly, and see, and that's, that's exactly, and that's exactly of what is of what it's all of what it's all about also too. And to also to let all of you and also to let all of you know well as well also is that is that, and let to all of you know as well is that I is that I have been to the I have been to these um I've been to the to these recovery groups many times to where I to where I always ask a, I always ask the person that's in charge, you know, could I you know, could I do live cast, you know, or could I not? Because I because I do respect because I do respect the privacy and I would never ever want to go over nobody's head or any or anything. And it was one that I had did and that it was that is celebrate recovery, the group that Joe runs and I let folks know of who I am of who I am and I also tell them that is that is that your is that your test is that your testimony can not only impact the next person here in California but any to every to anyone that that is watching this live that's watching this live cast you know because we always just want just just want just to let you know that that that, that there are places there are places that you can go that you that there are places that you can go you got celebrate life you got CPR you got all the you got all the recovery groups that that is out there 
you know, just to let just letting you know that 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 you that you are not alone. But do get a hold of Celebrate Life. They have a meeting every fri every Friday over at Dayspring Church, the location of the old YMCA. Just to let all of you know. Fourteen years Michigan. this month. We're having a fourteen year anniversary on the twenty seventh. Everybody's welcome. Come bring your appetite and your ears and your heart open to hear uh, good testimonies about deliverance. Oh, and thank you so much. And what? Let me tell you something. What God? What God has done to Brother Albert and Brother Albert? If you don't mind, if you don't mind me asking, how was? How many years we've been your sobriety? That December will be 14 years. Wow. What God has done? What God has done for this brother? He can. He can also do. He can also do the same thing for you as well. And for all. And for all of. And for all others, you know that that's going. That's going through their sobriety. That's going through their recovery right now. So, like I said, you guys. Like I said, you guys celebrate life. Do look them up. Yes, they are. Yes, they are on faith. They are on Facebook, and this is uh, and for and uh, Denise, sister and Denise, that's, and this and that and my official my official photo bomber, y'all, and, and authorized <laughs> to do so too. <laughs> How you Somebody doing? has been delivered. <laughs> and like I said, and like I said before, it's like Brother Albert says, it's it's, it's strong, it's strong, strictly confidentiality. And if and if the rule and if the rules are broken, unfortunately, unfortunately, you do you do you know you do have to you do have to leave. You know, just going well, we'll by, you just going by what you Yeah, we'll refer, we're not gonna leave them dry. We'll send them to another group. We'll right. refer them. But in order to have uh, uh, people have faith and confidence and open to share, right. a lot of people have been struggling things all their lives and they don't people lose trust you know and, and christians especially they trust them and then they hear their stuff out there on the street yeah it's very discouraging you know if you can't trust a christian who you're going to trust that's true and and that's why it has to be that way we serve a god of order and we believe that there is a place for everybody we don't try to take other people people we don't try to uh, do that we send people wherever they need to be right we don't want them only to come to ours we'll refer them everywhere else because god uses everybody mm -hmm. in different fields different backgrounds to minister to people but we have to make sure that people feel safe that's, that's the most right. important thing to us absolutely and that's the and that's the main important thing is safety that's all that is all but thank you so thank Thanks you so God. thank you so much brother al is always listen. always so good work Thank you so much too, and that's 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 brother Rob, that's brother Robert down there, that's camera shy right now also too, and that's Stephen, uh, that's Steve Garcia's cousin right there as well, and I got it right, his cousin, and I spoke, hmm, that's right, and I spoke to him just a few days ago as well also too. He says hi as well. He might be watching now. You never know, okay, <laughs> okay, but other than that, this is celeb, this is celebrate, this is the celebrate life booth over here and another one another one here you know where you can have prayer you know where you can have prayer as well also too and another ministry group called A2J addicted to Jesus and I don't I want to try not stay in the sun too long because I don't want my phone to overheat or nothing or anything and I'm coming and I'm also coming and I'm also coming over to another booth over here of, of a well of a well-known uh, of a well-known ministry not just any ministry, but a brother, but a fellowship brotherhood ministry that has that's that's now that is now celebrating a that's now celebrating eleven years, and I am talking and I am talking about the best fellowship in the valley, the brew the brew line men's fellowship. This is brother Alex so this is brother Alex Pastor Alex over here. And uh, Pastor, Pastor Junior over here, soon to be bro Pastor, Brother George over, Brother George over here, and there's oh, and there's Brother, and there's Brother Greg. He saw him, he saw my he saw my live cast, and he's out, and he is out here today. And this is and this is the booth. If you if you want to come by, if you want to come by and need prayer, Brother Alex, let all my viewers, and I'm in a perfect spot. Can you let all my viewers, and you can probably share something too, Junior, of what Brew Line is and how the brothers, how they can, you know, how they can come and join us and get crazy with Jesus on Saturday. We're here every uh, Saturday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yes, yeah, 7 o'clock, rise and shine in the morning here at uh, Brew Lines Men's Fellowship here at Trinity Church here at 1150 on Melbourne. So we invite each of you men to also invite other men to come. We come to praise Christ, Christ only. Amen? We're a diversity of men uh, from coming from all backgrounds, have different denominations, just one purpose in mind, and that's to glorify Christ. So we invite all you men out there. It doesn't matter where you're from, where you're coming from, we just ask you to come and see what God is doing on Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. Amen? God bless you. Amen. And, brother, and this is Brother Junior. Another brew, line, another brew line brother as well, also too. Anything you like to show, Junior, or you're good? Yes, um, brew, brew, it's a blessing for me. I go every Saturday. Uh, 
come together and praise God with the guys. Uh, it's just such a blessing because it changed my life. Yeah. And, um, yeah. That's right. and, um, it was like the I praise the Lord for the boots and the blue light. God bless, God bless you all. Big time. And, and God bless. And guess, and guess who, and guess who just, and guess who happened, and guess who happened to just show up. And guess who just happened to just show up after he saw my live catch just now? This is Brother Greg over here. He was he was watching me just now, and now he is now he is here in person. How you doing, Brother Greg? Get over here, bro. Bro, I seen you this morning. I said I got to get down there. So. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad you made it, bro. This is Sean Penn over here because it's a picture I have on him on my profile. Yeah, he look he look from Fast Times at Richmond High. This guy right here. I'll see you later, bro. And also, and also over here, the man of the hour, Brother John Mendoza. The man of the hour, brother. <laughs> the CPR boo right here, and this is Gia, and this is this is a brother where just where just recent where just recently took part took part in the beach baptism yep. over over at Shep, over at Shepherd and Church. You were there. Yes, I, you don't miss a moment. <laughs> now, no, I never miss. I no, never miss a no, moment, brother. No, no. This is Brother Giovanni, right? Yes, correct. I, I got it and correct. You my name. Brother Giovanni, that that you know that was one of the one of the many many many. Bro money brothers and sisters that got that was baptized right. over over at the um, at the beach baptism at Shepherd and that's an event that I always always look forward that, event, that right? I always look forward to because what compels what compels me to it even more is is other folk other folks that's on that that's on the beach they see what's going on and they see what's happening right. and they want they want, they want to be take part of that yeah. they want and, to take part of it and as well more than also. welcome Absolutely, yeah, yeah, brother Giovanni. As and I want you to share with all my viewers out, everyone that is watching right now. After you had came up out of the water, how is how? What is it that? In other words, how did like you? I, I felt like I let go of uh, a lot of things that I that I needed to just put aside and to just start all fresh. So now I'm fresh. I'm reliving now, newborn. I'm I'm ready. To, I'm ready to live better than I ever have. So it was definitely a blessing and uh, a great experience for me to do. And I thank you for being there, brother. Oh, and yeah. I thank and I thank and I thank you too, yeah. brother G. I thank you so That's much. Right. You're part you're part of God's spiritual army, bro. And, and he trying. got he got something for you. Thank you, thank you. Just be patient. Yeah, Just wonder. be patient and it's coming. Okay. All be right. patient, it's coming. I'll remember that. All right, All right then, bro. Thank you, thank you, my Thank brother. you too, bro. And um what I wanna what I wanna share with you. And uh, and the guy he, he had just arrived also too. What I want to share with you, right? What I want to share with you, right now, because I, because I did because I did say that um, at the top I did say it at the top of the hour as well also too. I just I did say it on top of the on top of the hour. I'm over here. I'm right now. Right now, as you all probably as you all probably right now as you all probably may know and probably have heard. Not may, but have heard of the va uh, you know of the vape of the vaping epidemic of the vaping epidemic crisis that that is that is taking that is taking place with that's taking place throughout the nation right now. But what is but what is actually mostly what is happening? It is that it is actually target is actually targeting our young our young kids our young brothers our young brothers and sisters right now, and and it has and the numbers the numbers of it. You know that I've been that I see that I have been seeing and hearing about. It's very, very, it's very alarming, and it is more, and even also more, and even also more of a way of a wake up call as well, also too. And I'm over here. I'm over here right now at the San Fernando Valley Partnership booth right now, where I'm going to get I'm going to get either a brother or a couple of brothers or a couple of brothers from this. Or a couple of brothers from this from this organization, or a couple of brothers from this organization, to explain to us to also talk to me to also to ex to also to explain to you of what vape you know of what vaping you know the you know the you know the danger the dangers of vaping and also and also still also still to tell you also still tell you a little bit more excuse me or and also to tell you a little bit more about it but I'm going to show you um. I'm going to show you the information table that you see right here. You're going to see this again. You are going. You are going to see, and you are going to see this. See this again. And like I said, and like I said, the vape. Like I said, 
the vaping among among the teen among the teenagers right now is at a very 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 alarming very alarming rate right now and I am going to be I'm going to be getting a couple I'm going to get one of the brothers from from the San Fernando Valley partnership that is going to um, you know that is going that's going to explain that's going to explain to you the day you know the, the dangers of vape the dangers of vaping what is it that to, what is that um, to what is that to um, to look for and to and to be aware because like I said the, like I said it's not only it's not targeting our adults is also targeting our young kids as well also too the recent um, the recent news that I had heard that I heard and seen is a young is a young 17 a young 17 year old girl a young 17 year old girl who um who had who had pneumonia or something and now she's in now she's in the hospital now she's at in the hospital right now on life on life support right on life support right now and um hold on one second let me, let me put this um in there yeah. oh hey hey and um let me tell you let me let me tell you something also too and um, oh yeah, we got um, we got another photo opportunity over here. I'll let you take a look, let you take a look and see. All right, boys. Hold on. Oh, you guys look good. Ready? One more. Looks good. Oh yeah. Now that's now that was definitely not just a Kodak moment, but a Polaroid moment right there. And yes, I did. And yes, and yes, I did. Yes, I did happen to get that as well, also too. We're right behind me, brother John, brother John, and brother John and the Brewline boys. We got brother. This is brother Bart. Oh, this brother Bart over here from the San Fernando Valley Partnership, whom I just saw just a Albert. Got but brother, brother Al, brother John, and this is brother Albert. Brother, how you doing? How you doing today, sir? My name is brother Tyron. I'm also known as the Kingdom Reporter. Everybody knows what I do, and you're actually actually live right now. What I want you to do for me, and because I was, because he said, because boy, he told me, told me to wait for you because then he said that that you very that you very much know. With all of, with all of the vaping that's going on right now, that's targeting our kids. I would like for you to please explain everyone out there the dangers the dangers of vaping and take me through every you know what I'm seeing on the table the different the different stuff the different the, the different things that I'm seeing right now this is brother Albert from the San Fernando Valley partnership and he is gonna and he right now he is going to explain to you about the dangers of vaping and going to take you through of what you know of what is what what is it and and, and also you know if you are if you are a parent out there what's up what's some signs that that you that you want to look for and that you want to see. So our biggest concern with a lot of these vaping products and what we're seeing in the news is the counterfeit products or the products with THC. But what we're finding and what we've learned, there's a lot of products out there that have failed state testing, but rather than being destroyed, they're ending up in our communities and ending up in the hands of kids. A good example is some of these cartridges can have mold, fungus, pesticides. And a uh, scary part of some of the pesticides is it's called microbutanol. Microbutanol is safe on food because you wash it off. But when you smoke it, it can turn into hydrogen cyanide, which is a dangerous chemical. So what we're finding is a lot of the chemicals that are falling into these products. This product here is a concern because it's called a Mario Kart. A kid's, a kid's video game. Uh, so products like this under Proposition 64 aren't even allowed yet. We're seeing this stuff in our community, so as parents, as communities, we need to recognize these products, but we also need to make sure that these products aren't getting in the hands of young people. You know, it's important to recognize that cannabis is legal, and there's some folks that use it for various reasons, but our kids shouldn't be getting these products, and we really need to make sure that we're doing everything we can to inform our kids and to keep these products out of their hands. And you know what? And you know what makes it? And you know what? What what makes it so? What is so bad about it right now is I just saw, and just saw on the recent news where a 17 year old girl she had been she had been vaping for about a year and she had to get rushed to the emergency room and to come find out she had pneumonia and she's on she's on life support. Oh yeah, it, it really is the chemical. So what they're finding is either a vitamin E oil that they're using to make it more viscous. Right. Uh, but the other piece that we're finding and we keep seeing or hearing are the chemicals. 
samples that you're putting in. And if people aren't getting this or getting a product that's been tested, then you don't know what you're smoking and that's what's going to happen. Now, the other side of it, for kids, the earlier you start, the more likely you are to experience mental health disorders. So it's important to understand that the adult, the human brain matures, fully matures at the age of 25. So after 25, you're a little safer than you would be as a child or as a youngster whose brain is still developing. So, you know, what's interesting, a lot of our kids are misinformed. Uh, so really part of our work and our effort is to make sure young people really understand the dangers, what they need to be careful with, why they should wait. Um, and again, making sure that our parents, our communities know how to recognize some of these products. Some of these products, you can't even tell they're vape pens. Some look like markers, some look like um, highlighters, uh, and they're getting smaller and smaller. So that's the other side of this, that we need to make sure that these products aren't attracting kids. And the, and the thing about it too, and even Bart, even Bart told me, about, even Bart, you know, you can, you know, just correct me if I'm wrong because you haven't even shared with me earlier before, you know, before I went on air and everything is how the, is how some of the tobacco companies now where, you know, I guess, you know, not making it no more. They right. want to make a, want to make another safe alternative. Now right. this is what they came, this is what they came up with. Or right. something. I'm just going by what you're saying to me just a few minutes ago. Well, you know, that's what's, what's interesting though, here's the other, what I learned is that a lot of these vape pens are, are being marketed as uh, secession products, helping people stop. Yeah. But what I just learned that these companies haven't submitted their products to be tested to see if they really help people stop smoking. Uh, so the research is showing that some may help, but on the bigger picture is that people are actually end up getting hooked on both. You know, some of these vaping products can have double the nicotine of a cigarette. So we're in a cigarette, a few cigarettes, you're smoking a certain amount of nicotine. With the vape pen, you can be inhaling an entire pack, what's equivalent to an entire pack of nicotine. Yeah, that's what you just said a second ago. A, a, a cartridge, like you said, um, would it be something, um, something like this? Oh yes. Something like this, right? These something are, like this, right here. These are more the concentrates, the cartridge with THC, and this is what they call the battery. So this cartridge you can use with this or this. So these are the different products. But see, this one looks like a USB. Yeah. So here's the other one. These could be more the tobacco. So these are. The jewel type cartridges uh, that can contain high levels of nicotine and the flavoring. Uh, but the other side is some of these can also contain flavored THC. So that's what we're seeing is becoming real popular with youngsters. But if you're using these products to help you stop smoking, you just need to be very careful. Make sure you get informed. Uh, so we're not bashing them. We just want to make sure that people are informed sure. and are very careful. But a lot of kids are using these products and sometimes as parents we don't recognize this stuff so think about it this way when legalization happened and we heard marijuana was legal uh, most parents just thought of the dry leaf you know the weed the bud they weren't thinking of the edibles like you see in this product here the chocolates uh, they, they don't they can't understand that that can have marijuana THC so some of these products can be extremely dangerous this Rice Krispie Treat has 500 milligrams of THC. The recommended for a, a dose for an adult is 10. Right. Now imagine a, a youngster eats that, they can be in a lot of trouble, which is where we hear that kids end up in the hospital for eating edibles. It's because they accidentally overconsume. So two kids ate that, so that's enough for 50 people. So you get two kids that eat that and they're a lot of, in a lot of trouble. So it's important to understand with legalization came all these new products. So we really need to make sure that we're informed and we know what they look like. And uh, some of these things are hard to tell, so hard to detect. And also, and can you also hello. explain? Oh, hello. How? Oh, oh. Oh, hello. Are you guys the vaping guys? Oh, yeah, it's just some information on the yeah. different cartridges and yeah. So oh, my husband definitely needs to see this. <laughs> So, oh, do I, does he use, is, it, is he trying to stop? He's trying smoking? to stop smoking, but he wants a vape. Yeah, no, you know, you really have to be careful doing your homework with those. Yeah. Because what we're finding is some people end up getting cooked on both. And sometimes you don't realize if you don't look at the packaging, you can be ingesting more stop nicotine it. than you would ever if you were just smoking. So, yeah. Yes, on the smoking side, uh, you know, there's definitely something there, but... You also have to be careful with the oils and some of the other chemicals that some of these products may have. So it really is important to get informed about these. Now, remember, most people think that uh, 
vaping devices are approved as smoking cessation, but they're not. So the tobacco companies have had enough time to submit their products to be tested and prove that they're healthy. What you have heard just a few but minutes ago is so a question. brother Al, you what? know, explain to you, you know, about what well, vaping is and everything. But I'm gonna, but I'm still, I'm still going to let, I'm still going, I'm still going to let him explain, you know, explain to you, let him explain to you of what, of what Prop 64 is and some more, and some more other stuff as well, also too. But parents, but parents, all of you that is, but parents, that's. All, but parents, for all of you that's watch, that's also watching this as well, you know, this is also more. This is also more of a. Um, this also more, more of a. I won't say a love for learning too, but more of a way, but more of an eye opener for all you parent, for all you parents out, for all you parents out there. And brother Albert, can you explain to all the to, about this, um, about this prop sixty four, about this proposition sixty four, and what and what and what is that and what is that about? Sure. So prop sixty four legalized cannabis marijuana used for recreational purposes for adults twenty one and over. So that's an important fact that it legalized it for adults. Um, it legalized possession, transport, cultivation. Now, in terms of cultivation, uh, that doesn't mean you can grow as many plants as, as you want. You can grow six living plants at a time in a secured area, not in public view. The other part of Prop 64 that most people don't understand is that public smoking is prohibited. Yes, it's legal, but smoking cannabis in public is prohibited. You can't smoke in the park. Uh, you can't smoke on the bus. Uh, if you live in an apartment building, you can't smoke on your balcony because it's within public view. So it really is important because that's one of the biggest issues that we're seeing right now is the whole issue of public consumption. Uh, there's definitely a lot of work that needs to be done because, again, we don't want to single out or criminalize people for doing something that's legal. But on the other side, though, we also need to make sure that our kids aren't seeing this and it really begins to normalize its use for the younger kids, but Prop 64, in essence, legalized possession, cultivation, sharing uh, of cannabis products. Uh, but there's definitely a lot more to legalization that most folks don't understand. So we really do need to be informed and know more about Proposition 64, where we can consume, where we can, how much we can carry, uh, making sure that we're keeping it away from our kids if we have it at home. You know, the other interesting fact that most people don't realize is that We've heard in the news that uh, emergency room admissions have uh, increased for youngsters, but you know, they've also increased for pets. Sometimes people aren't careful with their products and their dog eats it or their cat. So I was surprised to learn that uh, emergency room admissions not only increase for young children, teens, but even for pets. And what that means is that those folks that are consuming need to be careful with their stuff. And also, and also, just also, just want to let all of you know, um, just let all, letting all of my, just letting all of my, and just, and to show you, everybody, like I said, everyone that you, everybody that you see all oh, wow. on here, yeah. including, including my cousin, her name is Gail, she's watching all the way from South Carolina oh, wow. right now, That's and, awesome. and, a, and a cousin of, and a cousin of mine in New York, they're all, they're all watching this. If there's anyone out there, if there's, you know, if, like say, if there's anyone out there, you know, that, you know, that just, that you want to just give up vaping all together yeah. how they can get in contact with you yeah please they can uh you can email me uh albert at sfbp.org bart's showing our contact information you can definitely reach out to us uh but if you really need help you can call me my cell phone number is 818-554-6913 if i don't have the information i'll get it for you and you know what, and Brother Albert, I thank you, Brother Albert, I thank you so much oh, for this time. And you too, Albert, right? Yes. I got it right. And Brother Bart, not Simpson, y'all, not Simpson, <laughs> anything. And Brother Bart, I thank you so much, you know, for you know, for taking this time to, you know, to to explain, you know, to explain, you know, you know that you know the da the dangers right. of, you know, the dangers of vaping because it's like what Brother Bart said a second ago. They're not targeting, not, they're not targeting the adults. They're targeting the little bit, targeting our kids now and everything. And what and what I had also seen, um, you know, they they you know they vape in places and school and everything. But it's a school, um, because I saw this on a Today Show just yesterday, where it's a school. I don't know where it is or something, but 
they got they got a system that's that's embedded that's embedded yeah. on the ceiling the where, where 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 like what where, where like if they smoke where if they vape it it will it will hit it yeah. the principal they get the message on the phone automatically yeah. so that's what they, that's what they're doing that's what they're doing in the schools now not just there I'm sure it's it, I'm sure it's all over in all the schools right. probably probably in LA or something like oh, that no, also we're, too. we're seeing that that's one of the biggest so what we look at it is that's one of the unintended consequences of legalization so it's playing out in our schools so the fact that our kids are getting these products is ending up and they're ending up at our schools is definitely a problem and I think it's also important to look at that a lot of these shops are in our communities they're not in the more affluent communities they're in our communities but I also wanted to thank you for coming out thank and for you. your yes. show I mean that way you you know you let us help us reach more people so I wanted to thank you for what you did thank you thank you so much and also and also to let all of you know also too not to not that I'm not you know to bash no companies or nothing anything like Jewel or any of those companies anything we just want we just want the parents we want we, we just want the parents to, for them to be to, for them to be informed and to be aware and everything because we're losing our kids at a very very high rate of all of what's going on so I just want just to let you know not that I'm not I would never not want to bash or bash or talk about anyone but we as adult as adults as parents we need to know these things too we need to know we want to get to our kids while you know while they're still you know while they're still young we know we want to get to them now and you know make sure that something like this doesn't end up in their hands and everything and I'm pretty sure they got you know that you know they probably got rules and restrictions you know with that also too but as uh, us parents we need to be aware and adults we have to be more aware of this as well also. Yes. 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 Thank, you. Thank, thank you thank you thank you brother thank you so much brother Bart thank you so much Albert and like I said the San Fernando Valley partnership you can get in contact with one with one of these two guys brother Bart or brother Albert over here they will help you, you know. They will help you and still you know what what is it that you would need to know. Because I want all of you, all of you to, to leave a to lead a happy and healthy life. I want y'all to be around a long time. Like these like all three, like three of us here, okay? <laughs> but thank you so much for what you do and God bless you as well also too. God bless you again. And that's and that's what and that is what I have wanted to share. That is what I have wanted to share with you. Oh, thanks, Tony. And that's what I have wanted to share. To share with you and uh, we're just about we're just about winding down right now from this of uh, from the, from this from this event oh done already oh yeah <laughs> you know what done with the cap done with the capital D but you know what this has this has cap done with the capital D <laughs> and wait a minute you gotta excuse me I went to South here huh oh okay <laughs> And and once again, this is this is Pastor Rudy, aka you ought to be having fun himself, okay? You ought to be having fun. <laughs> see, it is see it, go, no, they don't sing that song. Huh? It is um it is it is some like, the reason why I say that to Pastor Rudy because it's something it is it is Pastor Rudy's personality and that song right there. That's why, you know, I always say you ought to be having fun. But this has been yeah, it's just about winding yeah, down. Yeah, it's just about God. Huh? Have fun serving Absolutely, God. yeah, absolutely. Don't get that, in bondage over it. There we go, there Don't we go. Let nobody See? strap you down with all the, you got to this, you got to that stuff. Absolutely, you know. that's what I like. And you know what, this has been, this truly has been a very, very awesome day today. Where will the Kingdom Report, Reporter go? That's only two words for you. Jeez. Stay tuned. That's all. Stay tuned. But this has been an awesome day. We're winding down now, and um, wherever y'all... Wherever y'all go, wherever y'all go or do today, please, please, please be safe today. This is Brother Tyrone, your Global International Kingdom reporter here at Mason Park for the, um, for the Unity, Unity picnic here in Mason Park. And let me tell you all something. Let's all live and take each day at a time. Because just as every snowflake has a different design, so are the pat so are the patterns of life. I thank each and every one of you that's watching. I'm gonna give you your I'm gonna give you all your shout-outs now. Hello, Sister Michelle, tomorrow, Sister Carol, Brother Arnold, hey cousin Gail, hey Sister Julie, how are you doing today? Sister Debbie, Sister Sister Annette, Brother Gre Brother Greg, thank you so much for coming. Sister Sandra, Brother Tony, sis, Brother Caesar, Sister Carla, all the way from North Carolina, Marvin Gaye fan of the world. My cousin Eric, my 843 Riders Car Club. Um, Carol, thank you. Thank you all so much for watching today, Sister Kathy. 
Sister Kathy, thank you all so much for watching today. And Lupe and, and Lupe as well. Thank you all so much for watching today. And I'm going and Brother John and the Brew Line Boys, they're gonna take you out today. Have a very blessed day today. Please be safe out there and remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. All the earth.